Hello Internet world, welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Sony ZV E10 Mark II. This is a really awesome APS-C camera that's capable of really good video quality and also of course good photos as well. Now this was purchased from Clifton Cameras. I use Clifton Cameras for pretty much all of my photography and video related purchases and they do an exceptional job at both customer service, pricing and of course the packing on this was exceptional and it, they got it to me really quick as well so big big thank you to them. If you want to check out Clifton Cameras there is a link to their website down in the video description area. So this is the Sony ZV E10 Mark II, and this happens to be the kit that includes the EPZ 16 to 50 millimeter f3.5 to 5.6 OSS Mark II lens. So it's got the this is the lens kit basically, so your body and the lens inside this box. So let's unseal the seal. So you're going to experience this for the first time, same time as me. We'll see what's in the box give you my initial impressions of course about build quality uh, the box a little bit flimsy i like sony's color boxes they switched to these boxes a while ago and i do prefer just the, the full color sort of boxes with orange on for some reason but it's okay there's a picture on the front there of course of the camera and the lens so let's open this up and take a look inside We're presented with some european guarantee information Got some information here about how to register your product online. And then we've got a series of paperwork. So we've got some regulatory information, some different language paperwork, some information about lenses and accessories, and also a startup guide. For the full manual, so a full instruction manual, you're going to get that online uh, from the Sony website. So let's open this up and take a look inside. Very nicely packaged, as you can see. We have got a camera strap with some Sony branding on it. Further down in here, we've got a little envelope. And this is a, I think it's probably gonna be the little wind muff there, there you go. So these, these cameras from Sony nowadays have got brilliant microphones built into them. This sort of slips onto the hot shoe. It is a cold shoe little mount, and it just covers up the microphone with this fluffy windshield. If you're gonna record outside, then this can help dissipate some of the wind noise that's picked up by the microphone. Further down in here, we have also got a battery. And this battery, of course, is a genuine Sony battery. You can see that with the little uh, hologram there. And this is the NPFZ100 battery pack. It's 2280 milliamp hours, so a really uh, good battery included with this camera. And then instead of the lens being separate, it comes pre-attached to the camera. So let's just move this box out of the way. There is no, let's just show you the rest of the box, there's no cable inside the box. So we don't get any sort of charging cable uh, with Sony cameras at this sort of price level. You have to supply your own. And it looks really thick and chunky, doesn't it? And that's purely because it comes with the lens pre-attached as well. So the lens isn't separate inside the box. It's already attached to the camera. So really uh, lovely looking camera, uh, very light, very compact, uh, and it's got this really good lens included with it. So it's a power zoom lens. And in fact, let's concentrate on the lens first of all, before I run through uh, my impressions of the rest of the camera. So this has actually got a rocker switch on the side, which allows you to zoom in from that 16 millimeter to the 50 millimeter range. Now, kit lenses aren't to everyone's taste, but this adds very little to the actual cost, so I would recommend getting the kit. It's a nice compact lens. If we take a look at the front element there, really nice glass this, and it takes a 40.5 millimeter thread if you do want to put some protection on there. We have got a, a focus ring on the front here as well. I'm pretty sure this is just focus and all of the zoom is done on the rocker. And then whilst we're on the top of the camera, let's have a very quick look here. We've got some attachments here for that shoulder strap. We've also got a little tally light on the front here. We've got the multi-interface shoe, so this can be used for things like flashes. But of course, if you use one of Sony's uh, microphones, it does power the microphone from the uh, multi-interface shoe. 
There's also the built-in microphone. Um, and also we've got this switch here where we can switch between photo mode, video mode, and slow motion. We've got the shutter button. We've also got the rocker for controlling the uh, zoom. So this of course will control the power zoom on the lens. We've got the on off switch just here as well. We've got the uh, background defocus button just here, which can also be used as a custom one button. Stop and start recording. We've got an additional dial here for making changes to the settings. Then if we look on the back here, we've got the 3.0 inch screen. It's a touch screen. And of course you can angle this to whatever angle you want. Great for vlogging. And if you want to, you can also pop it back down this way to protect the screen whilst it's not in use. We've got a little sort of thumb grip area just here, menu button, function button, display, uh, exposure, compensation, ISO, etc. This also rotates for changing settings as well. And there's also a button in the middle. We've got the playback button, trash can as well. On this side here, we've got the nice grip area, really very nice indeed. And on this side here, we open this up. We have got the memory card slot, so it's SD cards going there. We've also got an additional door at the bottom, which has got the headphone jack and micro HDMI. And then we've also got on the top one, this is where you're gonna plug it in your microphone. And we've also got the USB-C port. So USB-C is used for charging the camera. Uh, of course, you can charge the batteries externally if you did have an external charger. We take a look on the bottom, we've got the tripod mount, and then we've also got the door for the battery. So it's a really nice compact camera, really good grip as well. Feels very, very comfortable in the hand. And you've got that nice thumb rest area just here as well. In fact, that grip's pretty much perfect. I've got medium sized hands, and I think that's a really nice shape to the body on this. Nice and lightweight, nice and compact. And of course, you've got those excellent video capabilities in this camera. Uh, really great video capabilities, 4K video footage from this camera. You can, of course, also use the clean HDMI output if you're gonna do live streaming, and really decent photo capability as well. It's a good all-round camera. APS-C size uh, sensor in here, which means that you can use APS-C lenses on here, which are a lot cheaper, a lot lighter, and Sony have got a great range of lenses that you can add to this camera. I think if you're looking for a camera that is ideal for producing YouTube videos, but you want something that's gonna uh, really sort of grow with you as well, something that you're gonna be able to add some additional lenses to, really extend the system, really useful multi-interface shoe as well, then the Sony ZV E10 Mark II is definitely worth checking out. Now, if you wanna purchase one of these for yourself, please do check out the links in the video description, which include a link to the Clifton Cameras website, where I recommend that you pick this one up. And if you enjoyed my video, please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.